How's it going, everyone? So, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the diode arrangement here, what diodes I'm using, what these diodes are, what they're for, and uh, everything about the diodes. So, let's do that. So, I have ordered the 5 amp ones. I ordered 8 of those. And a few days ago, I also ordered 20 of these, the uh, 30 kV 2 amp ones. Okay, so the 40 kV 5 amp diodes, they are going to be utilized here. Uh, these were just representing those diodes because I don't have them on hand yet. They'll be here soon though. And um, so two of those diodes go here. Um, in line so you'd leave the spark gap directly into one of those diodes in the forward facing direction and then uh, you would put another diode there right beside it in the opposite direction those two get connected together and go into the primary so that way the spark gap shoots it through the one diode goes in goes to go back through the other diode back to the gap it says no and then we redirect it over to here so those are the diodes for there these ones right here they're about fifty dollars uh, a diode, but um, they shouldn't blow up. I'm going to test them though. And these other th um, 30, uh, 30 kV diodes, these diodes are used in this transformer. They're used to rectify the output after we've raised the voltage. And uh, we shouldn't get a kickback back that far, but if we do, on the positive side, we could place another one of these diodes in line as a protection diode in the same forward facing direction. Just that if a kickback did come back, um, it would stop it. Because if it gets back in here into that core, uh, literally everything on the driving end could be susceptible. So um, those are those diodes. Uh, those are the most critical diodes. These diodes here, I bought for a bunch of the other devices which are um, I'll get you these uh, the number here are you are you 160 so I'll have to look up the numbers again but I think I'm pretty sure they're 500 volts 150 amps those are the diodes I'm using for my output so if, if I want if I if I wanted more if I wanted seven eight nine hundred volts I just go two of them in series and then if I was going to do 500 amps then I would just go like five of these or four of these in parallel they're not that expensive these diodes and they're they're really they're high frequency ultra fast rectifier diodes so you can look up the specs on them I didn't bring them up for this video but that would do you um, 600 amps at up to a thousand volts that there so if we went to the three wire, <clears throat> like I was talking about, uh, for the partnered uh, opposite wound output coils, the paired output coils, then you could get away with just one of those on either wire. And uh, you could just use your ground and never mind this and recombine the two and have full wave rectification. So it would be less. You, you could always double it up a little more if you're worried about a spike or something. You know, go a little bit heavier on the uh, recovery. And then you're good for 1,500 volts there. And, you know, I, I think those are probably cheap enough. You, know, you buy a good whack of them and you've got some spares. And I, I won't know until I go to rectify the output. I, I'm sure they'll work. I'm sure they're rated for the right flyback speed to capture that because they are ultra fast, super high frequency rectifiers. And um, they did work really well for things I've done. Um, but really on the output here, any of the um, low frequency rectifiers are going to rectify it. But the discharge of the spark gap happens so fast, I don't know, I'm not sure. I know these will do it because I have uh, disruptively discharged using these diodes before and uh, recovered very successfully. I'm sure there's some videos of me using these rectifiers. I've used them 
Um, let me just see if I've got the thing here somewhere. I do. I've used them in all kinds of videos. This here board is made up of those. So um, lots of videos I've used them in very, very high frequency resonance. And they work quite well. So that's those. And again, the part number. RU, RU. 160 and as far as I recall they're 150 amps a piece all right so these are like our flyback our protect our protection and our rectifier diodes and then these are our resonant rectification diodes on the first ring so I and you know the uh, flyback the pair here in opposite directions and possibly um, another single one in the forward direction on the output of the positive side of the resonant coil. And there's the diodes. Ciao.